Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Meet Your Makers. In this episode, I want to go over electronic witnessing and I also want to go over the process of double witnessing. I know a lot of you have seen the articles out recently of the mix-ups in the embryology lab and the andrology lab. I kind of just want to go over how we do things here at AFS and I'm sure how other practices operate as well that use electronic witnessing systems. Um, so today we're going to talk about matching. Um, there are a lot of systems out there right now that um, it's competition, you know, different kind of systems, different ways of doing things. So this is um, just kind of like a dry run of the Metro system. I am going to put together some videos of us scanning um, each step of the way so that you can kind of see real time how it works. Um, but here's, you know, a basic rundown. So this is almost like an iPhone. It's a barcode reader. It has a patient list that we add cycles to whenever we have an upcoming retrieval, frozen embryo, transfer, oocyte thaw, anything, um, biopsy, any procedure that we do in embryology and andrology, we use the master system for. So, we enter the patient name into the database, they print us, these are just test patients, it's not real, they print us a list of stickers um, that are see-through. Um, and they barcodes on them with the name of the patient of that unique identifier and the birthday. Also indicates um, the partner information if they have a partner on file. So we use these stickers for everything when we have a patient cycling. We label our plates that the embryos, the eggs, the sperm, everything goes into. We get a, a label on the top of the plate and a label on the top side of the plate. All of the andrology supplies also have labels that have barcodes on them. The men when they come in to collect, um, they have a picture on it, a cute little cute ID card that we scan to confirm their identity. Everything, and I mean everything that touches the lab and comes into the lab, has a label on it with the patient information. Um, every step of the way, we need to read the barcode right here. Um, so there's really no chance um, for you to be taking the wrong specimen when you're using the barcode system because you have to scan every step of the way and it alerts you if you select the wrong patient. It also has a picture kind of um, memory where you can log into the system and go back to a certain cycle and check out the photos to confirm that like everything matched and there was really no issue, which we've never had to fingers crossed. Um, but um, not only do we use this witnessing system, but we also use double witnessing. So I usually don't ever work alone. I mean, there are some days where I am alone, so I have the mattress system to rely on, but most days I have my other embryologist here with me, and she double witnesses everything. So even though I'm scanning everything every step of the way, she's right there double checking the name on the plate matches the chart that I currently have out. So it's a super important, um, you know, in our lab and many other labs that I've worked in to have a double witnessing system human error happens. Um, embryologists work very long hours, seven days a week, holidays. Um, you know, our job never ends. Even if there are no procedures, we're here biopsying, freezing, thawing. You know, there's so many things that we need to be here doing. Andrology um, has, you know, sperm freezes, semen analysis, cryos. All of that uses the mattress system. So we have more of these um, for everybody so we don't have to share them. But no matter what we're doing, we're using the mattress system, and uh, I think it, it really helps. You know, double witnessing is great. Um, this is actually the first job I've ever worked at that had, double, that had an electronic witnessing system. Ever else I've worked, I've always just used the double witnessing system where I had a junior or another colleague with me in the lab at all times, even if it was just a clinical assistant sitting in the lab, hey, I'm about to start this, can you come check my place and match the paperwork? Because believe me when I say that, after working like 10 days in a row of, you know, especially like high egg number cases, it is so easy just to pick up the wrong plate, to pick up the wrong tube, and just work and not stop and not double check yourself. Um, but I've seen 20 embryos at a time. Um, you need to freeze those embryos individually to make sure the straw matches the embryo number that you're freezing because you don't want to freeze the wrong embryo on the wrong straw. The mattress system luckily scans every straw and matches it to the patient so that you know and you can be confident that you froze the right embryos for this patient. But people who don't have mattress system, that don't have an electronic witnessing system, have to rely on other people to check. So believe it or not, when I have juniors and I'm training them, I actually purposely take out the wrong dish to make sure that they're actually checking and I'm just going like, yeah, that's right. Um, believe it or not, like I had to let people go or not trained them for the explicit reason that 
they weren't actually checking, they were just coming from, oh yeah, that's right. And I'd be like, really? It's not right. Um, you want to make sure your your colleagues, uh, you know, your team is is working and paying attention to detail. Um, never had a mix up in any lab that we worked at, thank God. But when I hear these stories and I hear that it's probably from a lab that had a very low short staff, I get it. Um, but it happens in big labs too, and it's scary because like when you have high volume and you have all these hands in the lab, you need people to be paying attention to detail. It's one of the most important aspects of our job. So. I'm very grateful that we have the metric system here, but I'm also very grateful that I train and that people I work with are competent enough to understand how serious this is. And um, I've trained everybody to be just as detail-oriented as me. I don't even, on day seven, when we're throwing our wheels away, I don't even throw them away right away. I leave the discard plate in the hood for another person to come and check and confirm for me. I don't throw anything away without double-checking it. I don't do anything without double-checking it because this is such an important that we're working in and it is so important to make sure that you are on your A game 24 7 I mean that's the first thing I learned as a junior so that's pretty much how the mattress system works also when somebody comes in for a procedure or a transfer or a retrieval anything we give them a wristband with their barcode on it and the clinical systems the medical systems the doctor everybody scans those wristbands before the procedure happens we have a record of everything double check everything, um, identities are always confirmed. Um, it's a really great system. It's very expensive, so I understand why most places don't have something like this. There are other systems out there just as expensive, unfortunately. The price is kind of across the board the same. Um, so some people, most labs just rely on double witnessing, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with. They've been doing it for many years, so many centuries, many decades now. Um, mistakes happen and I just want you guys to feel a little bit more comfortable when you come to ASS. You know that we are doing triple checking and not making any mistakes and giving you the best possible outcome that we can. And I hope that makes you feel a little bit more confident. I hope this video helps you understand it a little bit better. And if you have any other questions, please comment um, and let me know what you'd like to go back and you know go over again. I have no problem doing that. Um, so please subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. And again, thank you again for joining me and have a great day, everyone.